Hey y'all, let's check out Saunders Cider Company and Orchards. Hey y'all, I'm Shy in Second Life and today we're going to be looking around Saunders Cider Company. This is a forest orchard themed Sam. This land is TP friendly and I am in the shared environment so let's go ahead and do a quick outfit check and then we can continue. So today I just wanted to go with something that was going to be fitting for like apple picking in my opinion. So we went simple, uh, super simple with the accessories, got the little Chanelies on. And for the outfit, just a simple long sleeve shirt with the skirt. The skirt is giving Burberry, very much so. Got my dog today, he's a little hyper you guys, so you must excuse him. Guys, I already know, got my favorite bag, yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's go ahead and do a little shoe action. What we got going on? We got some fishnets, black pantyhose. So these are some cute little heels with my little fishnets. So let's go ahead and get a full view. So this is my outfit, you guys. So let's go ahead and continue. I missed y'all. Thank y'all for being so patient with me while I took a little break. I have so many different comments that I have yet to respond to that I'm just getting around to looking at. Um, things have been lifing, you know, but as always, you guys, we're going to prevail. Um, really, really happy to be back. So happy to be bringing this spot to you guys. So this land is my story friendly. It definitely feels like it is quite interactive with, um, as far as like the things that you can do, it seems like if you have a, my story hood, you can interact with some of the harvesting and things like that. I am not familiar with my story. So I don't know if you can harvest vegetables and then you're able to collect them and eat them. I don't, I don't know. I don't know you guys I don't know I just know that this land is um, my story friendly so this apple orchard is so beautiful I love all of the different flowers they have like this looks like a peach tree it looks like a peach tree and then you have like an apple tree over here Everything has such a nice, warm feeling to it. I love this shared environment that they have. It has a bit of a gloomy aspect to it, almost dreamy in a sense, but it still feels extremely welcoming. I cannot find a basket. I really wanted to have like a basket to wear. Um, it's like a holdable. I cannot find one. The ones that I found, y'all, they it was not apples. It was not apples. They were freaking um is that a squirrel i had one that was like mangoes and then another one that was like carrots and stuff i could have got one off a of marketplace but i just i, I ain't want to do that look the little squirrely getting their eat on so this land is it looked quite large when i panned out so we'll get a chance to look around um a bit of it they have the nice little animals i love the sound so they have like bees you can hear like the bees buzzing and then i hear some water somewhere i don't know maybe we'll come across some water or something like that so we'll see here oh this is nice so this is like the space where they make the cider at so yeah i have really um enjoyed my little break i feel very much so rejuvenated and so i'm super duper happy to be back you guys coming back bringing videos to you guys i took a little bit of time i was on yesterday just kind of collecting some new um landmarks so that i could take you guys to some different places i have quite a few i like to keep a nice amount just so that i'll have a nice selection to choose from is this a shareable so yeah so they have some shareables in here as far as like the little drinks and things like that this is a moderate sam so um you can definitely bring the little kitties along okay is this a shareable as well yeah so the drinks in here do seem to be like shareables they have a little tap in the bag i love how this seems very like like a manufacturer um, manufacturing type space but it's also like a place that you can sit and chill at so almost like if they had like a like sometimes you go to the places where they make beer and then you'll be able to like eat 
on the property like in the spaces where they kind of have um things where they're like beer kegs or whatever like how they have this and i think that's really nice also this is a nature collective listen when i dropped down here i was like oh this looks super nice so i'm definitely not surprised that this is the nature collective like i said you know you know we we, we love the good nature collective land oh i love the pie with the little steam coming out and the um, what is this uh, not cashews these are not cashews it's like pralines pecans that's what it is pecan pie super nice I love all the little different pie options all the beautiful colors of the apples they have some nice greens and reds for the apples so what is this this is just like more of a sitting space I like how they have the overview um you can look out and see the water they have this nice little water feature right here super nice i feel like this is a nice place to go like if you want to just like chill and relax if you want to come for like couple pictures or things like that or just a place to just bring the kitties along and they can kind of just like walk around and enjoy the views so i wanted to come back with just like a nice calm space i didn't want to start off with anything that was going to be too wild you know kind of just easing back into um looking around second life i have not really been on second life lately i really have just kind of been chilling i did not realize um the toll i love these veggies i didn't realize the toll of doing 30 videos in a in um, a month that toll that it took on me so i definitely was i was i was a little drained i was i was a little drained so I have just not been on Second Life. I've been on these last couple of days. You know, we we love a good water feature. I've been on these last couple of days, just kind of getting back into the groove of things. So I'm definitely not trying to walk around this whole land, but I do want to get a nice idea of like what they have so you can feed the duckies. They have nice little boats that you can get on and you can just pose and take some pictures and things like that super cute i love the water is this a this a geese so this land does offer rentals i'm not sure how many rentals they have but they do offer rentals so just be mindful of that when you come um if you see like a little private sign it's not for decoration it is because they have um spaces that are rented by other people and you know we we like to respect the people's uh, residences in second life so my son seems to have like come down with a bit of a cold and and of course, you know, what is mom life without catching a cold? It's been a while. It's been a while. We've, we've been doing well. But in Chicago, the weather has been very, very crazy, very all over the place. So I'm really not surprised that um, he's come down with something like a bit of a cold and I'm feeling the effects of it. This this space gives me like a community type space when i read the little overview of the space like the little bio about it it didn't say that it was a community um that in my opinion would explain why they do offer on um, why this land is like my story compatible i don't know why i didn't put two and two together in the first place but now that i'm walking around and i'm saying that they do have quite a few private residences um it makes sense why they had the my story features and things like that because this is a um community and it's super nice it has an old timey feel to it and i really like that just a very southern comfort feel if you will and i really really like that the lighting here is amazing it is so perfect for the flowers and how they have everything here i really need to check my internet connection because things are just not resin well today i don't know what the issue is but i don't like that i just don't so what's this can we go in here what is this this is sonder pub let's look at the little birdie the little red bird 
the little cardinal adorable we have cardinals um, that come and eat from the bird feeder my house in real life and I absolutely love them I love this water and the little um, just a little bridge overpass that they have with the water it just adds to that very much so country type vibe I really really love the feel of this land I really love this so let's see so they do have some pre-decorated spaces and you guys know I love a good pre-decorated space it's gonna help us be able to get a better vibe of like the time of the land as far as the decorations go or the 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 theme of the land so it's giving like kind of like a little bit of like an 1800s vibes or th that seems to be quite a common time that people do like to have um themed lands in and i don't think there's anything wrong with that hold on let me try to zoom in i don't think there's anything wrong with that um i feel like when they go rustic that's just the timing that they go in but you know then they also add a little bit of modern flair to it with like the liquor and things like that like the different kinds of liquor it's like yeah those some of those weren't around at that time if any so we're not gonna go upstairs you guys can go upstairs when you come to this beautiful land so let's see what do they have over here so over this time I've really been just chilling y'all I'm not even I can't even front I really just have been chilling and relaxing like I said haven't really been on second life I've just kind of been doing my own thing I want to go up here but I don't want to get too off of my path because I do want to see what was down there this seems like a market area it kind of feels like I love this water feature it's so pretty so it was so funny because when I went to um, record this video I had got so used to saying my April Diamonds intro that I was like wait a minute what was I saying before um, and I had to go and like look at the beginning of one of my videos before April Diamonds was this uh, cafe oh nice I had to go and look at the one of my videos um, that was before April Diamonds to like kind of remember what I um said before i just thought that was funny i'm like not not you did 30 days of april diamonds and now you don't know how to have like go back to your um original intro but we got it together i added a little a little newness to it so wait a minute i want to see that menu sometimes they'll do um, menus in second life and they're like blurry on purpose but this one was not so you have like a different different menu options the scarlet bistro love it happiness is carbs and now the doggies wouldn't normally be allowed hold on you guys i have to sneeze false alarm so look at all of this cheese this asiago cheese what kind of cheese is this fontina the fresh breads, the little deli smorgasbord, the little like a little deli sandwich board, the tomato soup. So this is a shareable. This is a shareable as well. So they have quite a few um, shareables here, and I really really like that. I love when they make like the food interactive. And things like that especially when you're like in a bistro so you know like you could really come and have a nice role play setting I really love this sink it's super nice look at these veggies y'all I love it so they have like the wood burning stove so you see how it's kind of like it has like that nice dated feel to it but it also like second life the creators they always mesh the um hold on let's get this out the way i love how the second life creators they always manage to mesh 
the um, modern with the classic type vibes and I um, uh, classic type landscaping and I really really like that because it gives you the feel of being in a space in a time that you haven't been before but then they'll give you like little glimpses into um, modern uh, times so you don't feel like super out of place per se so they have a little Ouija board it's an go for the Ouija board a little some little tarot cards mm -hmm. love it love it love it this is a cute little psychic shop so this seems like a market type eatery space that they have and this is like a little beer pub. This is what I was talking about earlier when I was saying like sometimes you can go to places and they'll show you like how they make beer and things like that and you can like eat in the space and kind of chill like this. See, I didn't even know they were gonna have this. I love those little seats, how they're kind of like attached to the table. This is a nice little outdoor eating space. This land is quite massive. I think we have um, gone over like a couple Sam's because I've gotten quite a few um, notifications. I don't want to go down there. I want to go back over to the space that we were in before. But first, let's go over here. I do want to look at this train and see what they got going on at the little train station. So now I'm at the point where I'm like, oh, where I'm going to take the thumbnail. I don't know. So this train like gives me like New Orleans type vibes where it's really, it has like that rustic Cajun type vibe to it, kind of bayou type vibes, but it does still have like a modern flair to it. I really, really love how they do that. This is such a nice land to just like walk around and explore. What is this? the Lone Tree Yoga Studio. I'm so glad that this land is still here. Um, it's a community, so it makes sense why, why it's still here. I know a lot of times you gotta get, get it while the getting is good when it comes to a lot of these lands. But this land is still here, and I'm so glad because I did find this land. Uh, it's, it's been a time ago. I've had this landmark for a couple of weeks. Um, I wanted to get around to doing it for April Diamonds, but it just, it, it didn't make the cut. It didn't make the cut. I hadn't had any places that were like pre-selected, but it was things like I would come across the land. I'm like, oh yeah, you know, I want to show you guys this land today. And I just didn't get back around to coming around to this land. And so I'm just glad that it's still here because I definitely wanted to show you guys. It was definitely worthy of being um, one of the destinations for April Diamonds are these singing bowls. I have one of these in real life. I love them. They are so centering. I just didn't get around to coming back here to really just check the space out. But I'm really, really glad that I did coming back from April Diamonds. One of the biggest things that um, I wanted to do with April Diamonds is I wanted to make sure that I was posting on the best days um, of the week. And what I realized is it fluctuates. So what I thought would be like set days it just really shows you on YouTube everybody has their own path because there are some people that are like oh, okay well you know this day works best for me and that day works best for me what I realized is on YouTube you definitely are gonna have your own journey and things are definitely not gonna look like anyone else's because there are a lot of people that post on certain days at certain times and it just works well for them but what I noticed with my analytics is it's really just like whenever you post that's the best time to post and I really like that because it gives me a little freedom um, with my posting as well as my posting days now there were days that did better than other days but um, one of the main things that I did want to get for myself out of April Diamonds was just having a better overview of how I can be able to just show you guys these places and more people be able to see them 
but it's already happening organically on its own. So I just kind of feel like I'm doing the right thing. There were days that I was visually able to um, see that did better than other days. So I know which days are the best days to post. So I really wanted to come back to you guys after I had completed the 30 days just to say thank you because I definitely appreciated everyone for tuning in and just really giving me all of the great feedback um, during the April Diamond series and just for everyone that just came and tuned in and enjoyed um, the videos but when I tell you guys although I am beyond appreciative and thankful for the life of me this place is so beautiful I cannot do another video. I could not. I tried multiple times. I just could not bring myself to like record again. I was super wiped out and it didn't seem like that because when I'm doing these videos, I'm always so like excited because I know I'm going to see like so many pretty things and be able to venture around these lands and things like that. But I was just completely wiped out from the whole experience but please don't think that um anything um from the april diamond series went unnoticed i'm so thankful for everyone who commented who liked who subscribed even the people that did and the people that just clicked on the video and watched the video we are building such a special community together and i'm super duper excited about that i never would have thought that this would have been it you know what i'm saying i never would have thought that second life would have been the thing something that i enjoy so much that and i was so apprehensive um to show you guys is the main thing that brings me so much joy when it comes to um recording on second on on youtube so although i love doing um second life videos i also vlog so i don't just exclusively do second life videos but i really have um granted been doing a lot of second life videos lately but i do want to get back into vlogging because simply because you guys uh that camera was expensive and we're gonna be using that camera plus i want you guys to get a glimpse i want to show you guys more than just second life um as it pertains to me i want you guys to get to meet candace you know we we, we meet shy a lot you know we, we've met shy in second life a lot but i also want you guys to get a chance to meet candace and kind of vibe with me on the vlogging type realm so hopefully you guys will be receptive to that i'm still going to bring you second life content because this is something that i enjoy as well as vlogging but i cannot lie lately second life has definitely been my jam for sure so they have these yummy cakes oh i haven't seen this cake before and we've seen a lot of baked goods but i haven't seen this cake before it's like a lady fingers or something super nice the little sunflower cake okay i like it what kind of muffins are these so yeah i'm really excited to just continue uh, doing second life vlogs as well as starting to do like real life vlogs i don't know when i'm gonna do it i'm not gonna lie i don't know when but it is it's on the list of things to do definitely is because you know we're, we're, we're multifaceted people this drama i don't like it i don't like it i don't like how that looks what is that charcoal ice cream to help against poison Ugh, i don't i don't like it i don't like it so this is nice they got the little old ladies making the bread and stuff like that and then they got the vodka in the corner okay i know that's right getting it in this is super nice so yeah, you guys, there's still so much more to see and do at Saunders Cider Company and Orchard. The landmark to this place will be in the description box below. So I really hope that you guys enjoy this video just as much as I enjoy bringing it to you guys. Make sure you all like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.